Hello and welcome to a new tutorial where today we'll be creating this clean cut logo in GIMP. I hope you've seen it because it's on the thumbnail. Um, this tutorial was inspired by a tutorial by Quill on his YouTube channel. I'll leave a link to the tutorial on his channel. So go ahead and open up GIMP. And create a new image. The size doesn't really matter. I'm using 800 by 800 pixels. Now create a new layer by clicking the new layer icon here. Select the ellipse select tool and just check this box fixed with aspect ratio. Drag a circle. Now select the blend tool, also known as the gradient tool. Select a light greyish white colour and a darkish light grey. And simply stroke down, holding the control key. Select none. Now create a new layer. Select the ellipse, select all again. And we want to draw a smaller circle to fit inside our circle. This is where you can pick your colour for the logo. I'm using this green. AAF344 is the HTML notation. Go ahead and use the fill tool to fill it in. Select none. If it's not quite in the centre that you want, select the move tool and use the arrow keys to move it around the image. That seems about right for me. Now create a new layer. Again, selecting that white as your foreground colour and the ellipse tool drawing the third circle for this logo. Select the blend tool and you want to just stroke down. Select none. Again, select the move tool and use your arrow keys to move the image into place. Next of all, you want to add some layer styles. So go to the bottom layer and click Script Foo Layer Effects Drop Shadow. I have a tutorial already out how to install the Script Foo plugin for GIMP. I'll leave a link in the description. You want to add your, make your size to 20 and leave everything else on default except the opacity on 100 and click Merge with Layer. The next step is to go to the middle layer and go to Script Foo Layer Effects in a Glow. And we want the colour to be black and click Merge with Layer. Excellent, so it's looking quite nice now. The next step of the tutorial is the text. We'll come back to making the this circle um, with all the effects. So select your text tool. And the font I'll be using is Dodger. I'll leave a link in the description for this font. And I'm just going to simply type in letters CC. It doesn't really matter if your text is sticking out of the circle. It'll fix that in the cutout. Next of all, you want to right click on this text line, click Alpha to Selection, then go to this, the third circle layer and click Control X or Edit Cut. And that will cut that shape out. Click Select None. Hide this top layer by clicking the little eye icon here. Now go back to your highlighted circle layer and click Script Foo layer effects, drop shadow and keep all the same except the size to 5. In fact, I think I might make my text a bit bigger just for the purposes, purposes of the tutorial.
so it goes outside the box. Outside the circle, sorry. Select and um, right click alpha to selection and then control X will edit cut, select none, hide the top layer, and go to script view, layer effects, um, drop shadow. and set the opacity on 80 or around 70 I think I'll do now as you can see here it looks kind of jaggedy here and we don't want that so go ahead and click your eraser tool and use what to erase So it's not, yes, not as obvious. And there we have our clean professional logo, clean cut logo in GIMP. I hope you like this tutorial. It's pretty simple. Looks have a nice effect. Um, this is a fully customizable story. You can even use a shape for the center text. And. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.